Hello, I'm Tim Cashel from the Evolve Academy. With the release of Barco 4.2 version firmware for the Eventmaster series, the S3 processor received a serious capabilities boost. Using an EX processor linked to an S3, you can now expand the available layers by adding VPU cards in the EX's I.O. slots. Currently, this works only with the S3 processor, and only one EX can be added. This gives the S3 a total of 16 available single layers, or 8 mixing layers. The setup begins with the usual steps. The S3 and EX must have unique IP addresses, as well as unique unit IDs. The CXP link cables need to be installed. Out of Link 1 on the S3 to Link 2 on the EX, then back from Link 1 of the EX to Link 2 on the S3. Since this configuration requires the return on the links, it is not possible to have a second S3 or a second EX as part of the link chain. Also, you will still have to run a separate Ethernet to both the S3 and EX for control. In the toolset, you will notice an EX placed below your S3 with a blue Add button. Press the button to add this to your system. Then select the System view. This will allow you to check if your CXP connections are correct. If they are correct, both the connectors and the lines in between connectors will be green. You will also notice the letters 8L on both the S3 and EX. This shows that it recognizes the added VPU cards. I am going to quickly create some destinations. I'll make two single screens and one two projector blend. Now, when we go to the Assign tab and then to the Layer section, we see there are eight mixing layers available or 16 single layers. I am going to assign two mixing layers to each of the single output destinations and the remaining four mixing layers to the widescreen. There are no restrictions on where you can assign the layers. All eight on one, or divided among them all. It's up to you. I will quickly add three inputs by selecting three connectors and then using another feature of version 4.2, add multiple inputs. This creates three separate inputs in my list from those selected connectors. I am then going to drop four PIPs on the screen and two PIPs on each of the single screens. Integration of the additional layers then becomes seamless to the programming process. This is Tim Cashell with the Evolve Academy. Thank you for watching.